Well, guys, tell me about uh, what it's been like being on, on the Ipswich lacrosse team this year. Uh, well, it's been great because coming into the year, we all knew what we were working for. You know, the last two years, uh, we had a pretty good amount of success being able to get to the uh, state semifinals. But uh, each year, it just felt like we kind of wanted a little bit more. So coming into this year, we all just kind of knew what common goal we were working towards. And that's obviously getting to the state championship. So to be able to get there is great. And uh, yeah, I mean, just everybody really put put in the extra effort and did things off the field, you know, that they necessarily weren't forced to do. So it was great to just have everybody working together. All part of being a part of a successful program, I guess, yeah. Yeah, uh, that was probably the main difference for us is the off-season work we put in. A lot of kids started lifting more. We had more kids out playing with the stick through the winter. And I think it's really made a big difference as the season has gone along. Our skills are improved a lot. So uh, other than that, like what Tyler was saying, is we all had a common goal. It's great to have the chance to win it all, and uh, hopefully we come up with a win tomorrow. So. Tell me about the uh, regular season. What was a what was a big game for Ipswich? Um, I would say Marblehead was a huge game for us. Um, they're one of the better teams on the North Shore. Have a lot of have a lot of skilled players. I know three of their kids are going Division One, and it was a uh, really good to get out of the Cape Ann League and push ourselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Uh, a big thing for us this season is we wanted to schedule all out of league games, uh, pretty competitive matchups. So to be able to go down to Marblehead early on and play a good team and get a win was great because going into that game, we knew that was a big test of um, just how we would do against a some better competition. And I think we did well. Everyone was on the same page there. How about a shout out to one of your teammates uh, that, that you think has done a nice job? Yeah, um, I actually have a few and it's mostly the um, out, the defensive midfielders I'd like to give a shout out to sure. because um, some of those guys came into the season not necessarily knowing their role in the team. People like Ben Yanakakis, uh, Matt Rugo, Tommy Heron, um, they've done a great job of just really fitting into the system and uh, just doing little things like ground balls and just being athletes and covering those middies so they've they've done a good job for us yeah um my two people would be Aiden McAdams who's really kind of come on during the playoffs and has kept us in a lot of close games he's done an incredible job this year and uh Pat Gillis who's been a spark plug for the offense when things aren't going